Welcome to the Chamber Update for the week of March the 1st. My name is Elise Hildebrandt and I am the CEO of the Prince Albert and District Chamber of Commerce. This last week, we celebrated our 30th annual Samuel McLeod Business Awards. Congratulations to each and every one of our recipients. If you've not had the opportunity to watch our awards, you can catch it on our Prince Albert Chamber YouTube channel and I'll put the link here below. Do you have an idea as to how our community could work together to recover from COVID? Are there stress points in your business that as a business community team, we could help each other overcome? We welcome you to be part of our Zoom call on March the 4th at 9.30. At that point, we're gonna talk about some of those stress points and see if we can't help each other find some solutions. On behalf of our provincial government, there have been a number of extensions on the grants that they are providing. Under the Saskatchewan Small Business Emergency Payment, the payments have now been extended for February and March, and the deadline is April the 30th. Under the Strong Recovery Adaptation Rebate Program, which reimburses eligible businesses for the investments made to adapt their business to operate during the COVID pandemic, that application is now March the 31st. The Reopen Saskatchewan training subsidy is also available until March 31st. That particular program allows you to send your employees for training and it is covered 100% by the government up to a maximum of $10,000. The provincial government has also just announced that they have a second offering of the Saskatchewan Tourism Sector Support Program. It is eligible for the tourism businesses in the accommodation, attraction and tours, events and major event facilities sectors that have seen a 30% drop in revenue as a result of the pandemic. Those applications will go live on March the 8th and the deadline to submit is April 30th of this year. For any other information on any of the grants that the government, the provincial government or the federal government are offering, please feel free to connect with our local MLAs, MLA Joe Hargrave and MLA Alana Ross. You can also call the Business Task Force and we will put the links of all of this here below. On behalf of the Chamber, we wish each of you an amazing week and if there's anything we can do to help you, please connect with us.